Today we're going to be reviewing a website for Paul, and Paul didn't specify any keywords that he would like to rank for, so we're going to be kind of light on the search engine optimization, but let's go take a look at his website. So here we are at paulharrisonline.com, and again, because I don't know what keywords he wants to rank for, we're just going to kind of bypass the search engine optimization. I usually do uh, website reviews for blogs and uh, sites like those, but uh, this is a squeeze page, so we'll try to adjust uh, what what I do and uh, see if I can help Paul out. So uh, a few things about the squeeze page. Um, the first one is uh, any squeeze page needs to have a big clear headline that promises to solve a problem that I have. And so if you don't have the, the first words on your squeeze page promising, hey, I'm going to show you the solution to this problem that I have, that, that the reader has, then you've lost half your visitors and they're going to click the back button. I guarantee half people, half of the people are going to click the back button if it doesn't connect with them immediately, like within the first three or four seconds. So your first words on your page need to be big, they need to be bold, and you know you did a good job there with Paul Harris online but that doesn't connect with anyone emotionally it doesn't connect with a problem that they have and uh, I'll show you a quick example um, here is one of my squeeze pages I don't claim to be uh, fantastic at creating squeeze pages but I have few uh, learned a few things and I try to apply them and so you can see um, what I'm promising right here when you read this you know exactly what I'm promising and you can tell what the the problem is that I'm trying to solve and so people who have that problem are gonna read that and say oh maybe that's what I want and they're gonna keep reading so the whole point of the headline is to solve a problem and keep people reading so they don't leave um, moving on the um, I need a compelling one in addition to the headline I need a compelling reason to sign up Again, it's just an extension of um, outlining what problem the, the people have and then showing how you're going to solve it if they just take one little action by signing up. So, you know, learn the skills that pay the bills. It's a fun little scene, but it doesn't really give me a great reason to um, to sign up. And, you know, looking at this, this is mine, it could be better. It, the, the compelling reason is not quite there. It, I I could do a better job, and I really should. And so that's probably something I'm going to add to do my to my to do list in the next week. Um, but you know what what problem are you are you going to solve um, by having me uh, if I put my name and my email in there? Um, moving on, uh, you you always want to have your sign up uh, above the fold, which you do, and that's great. You you did a really good job with that. Um, also, if you uh, have external links, it's generally a bad thing. So you can see here's here's a link um, right here. I don't know if that's an affiliate link or if that's just some other link. Here's another uh, link. And uh, so typically you don't want links to anything else on your squeeze page. You just want it to be super simple and highly focused like, hey, all we do is we tell you about this amazing thing and you sign up. Sign up, And if you don't sign up, it's because you hit the back button or because you closed your browser window. It's not because you cl clicked on the link that I provided. And if you see on mine, there is no other, there are no other links to anything else. And so um, I would get rid of external links on your, on your squeeze page. Also, it'd be nice if you had, um, a graphic of some sort that depicted what you're offering. Again, looking at mine, you can see that I have an ebook, um, which is a you know a graphic representation of what I'm offering. And so you know if you're offering an ebook or or something like that, it might be good to have a, a graphic that depicts that. And then uh, lastly, um, you know video is a great thing to have on a squeeze page, but it's got to be relevant. It's got to make it so when people watch it they're more likely to sign up. So I watched, you know, the first 30 seconds of the video you have here. And to be honest, it, it didn't really make me want to sign up for your email list. It was just kind of, oh, that's nice. Uh, a bunch of people getting together in London and looks like they're having a good time and 
they're you know there to see uh, this Chris Farrell guy and you know most people won't know who he is and it's not really it's not really relevant it doesn't make people in my opinion want to sign up for your email list so I would either uh, you know 86 the video get rid of it or uh, come up with a video that uh, directly ties into your offer and people you know after watching it are a hundred times more likely to sign up type of thing Anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, Paul, if you've got questions, uh, specific questions, I would be happy to answer them. Send me an email, but uh, I hope this uh, video review helps.